Hello, welcome to this short video on angles in polygons. If you are feeling confused about this topic, then don't worry, this video should help clear things up. And if you have already started to develop an understanding about this topic, then this should solidify that and set you on the way to solving some problems. Okay, so I just want to remind you of the triangle which is a polygon with three sides and three angles. Now we have learned that all three angles inside any triangle add up to 180 degrees. This is a really important piece of knowledge for angles in polygons. Now, we are going to look at the interior angles of all kinds of polygons and the tri triangles are going to help us with that. So this is a pentagon because it has five sides. So let's just take a look at a bunch of polygons. So here we have five different polygons that are all cut up into triangles. Now look closely because the triangles all share the interior angles with the polygon. So every angle that's in the triangle is also part of the polygon interior angles, as you can see here. Now look even more closely at the number of triangles in each shape. So a quadrilateral which has four sides can be cut into two triangles. A pentagon which has five sides is cut into three. A hexagon that has six sides is cut into four and so on. Hopefully you can see that the relationship here is that the number of triangles is always two less than the number of sides. Okay, so back to this pentagon. Um, and a rule that we, or a relationship that we've established is to find the sum of interior angles of any polygon then you reduce the number of sides by two and you multiply by 180. Now, why is that? Well, we can, if we reduce five by two, we get three. And look, we can cut the five-sided shape into three triangles. And remember that every triangle has a sum of interior angles equal to 180. So that would be 3 multiplied by 180, which would give us a sum of interior angles, which is 540 in this case. Now this rule or relationship that's written here as a sentence can be written more concisely as a formula. And that formula is here. So the sum of interior angles is n minus 2 multiplied by 180, where n stands for the number of sides in that polygon. Okay, let's use this formula to solve problems now. This is our first question. Find the sum of interior angles of a 22-sided shape. Right, so a polygon that has 22 sides. Now, first thing you want to do is write down the formula, n minus 2 times 180. Then you want to substitute n for the number of sides. So here we know the number of sides is 22. So I just replace n with 22 to give me this line. I then start to make the calculation. 22 minus 2 gives me 20. So I multiply that by 180. And here I have my total, 3,600. So my final answer is that the sum of interior angles of a 22-sided shape is 3,600 degrees. Okay, here's another problem for you. Find the value of y. Right, take a look at this diagram very carefully. Great, it's a polygon. How many sides does this polygon have? Five. So it's a pentagon. 
and there is only one angle that is labeled Y, so we need to find the value of this angle here. We know all of the other angles. We also know that we can calculate the sum of all of the interior angles of a pentagon, thanks to the formula we have just learned about. So, n equals 5 in this case. So I'm going to use the formula n minus 2 times 180. That gives me 5 minus 2 times by 180. That gives 3. Multiply by 180, which is 540 degrees for all of these angles added together. Right, now I can formulate an equation based on the information from the diagram. So what I will do is take each angle and add it together to give 540. So when I write it down, it looks like this. 90, because this symbol here tells me it's a right angle, which is 90 degrees, plus 135, plus 112, plus 88, plus y is 540. So these are the five angles of my pentagon. I can simplify this equation on the left-hand side by adding all of the like terms, which are the numbers. So if I add all the numbers, I get 525 plus y equals 540. Now this is a simple linear equation. You can ask yourself, what do I add to 425 to get 540? And the answer is, y equals 115. So that is the value of this angle, which is called y in this problem. Okay, and one more thing before we finish this video is that as well as interior angles, which are the inside angles of the polygon, there are exterior angles. Now be careful with these um, because a lot of people think that exterior angles are all on the outside. They are not. The interior and the exterior angles come as a pair and they line up nicely together on a straight line like this. Now these extended lines are kind of imaginary. So the interior and the exterior angles always add together to make a straight line. Now we have learned before angles on a straight line are equal to 180 degrees. So the rule for interior and exterior angles is that the interior angle plus the exterior angle is equal to 180 degrees. Okay, thank you.